picture this, your precious little bundle of joy, the same one that coos sweetly in your arms, abruptly morphs into a pint-sized version of the Incredible Hulk, minus the green hue and muscle mass. Sound familiar? Well, fret not because you're not alone. Welcome aboard the tumultuous yet thrilling ride of parenthood, where baby tantrums are as inevitable as diaper changes. In today's discussion, we will delve into the fascinating world of tantrums and help you navigate these stormy emotional seas with positive discipline methods. So let's pull back the curtain on the melodrama. If your baby could speak, you'd probably hear something like, Mom, Dad, I'm not being a tiny tyrant just for the fun of it. I'm just trying to communicate here. The truth is, your baby's brain is still learning to process emotions, and sometimes it can feel like a roller coaster ride with no safety bar or seatbelt for them. But hold on to your parenting hats because we're about to equip you with some handy tools, techniques, and a sprinkle of Caribbean magic to turn those frowns upside down. We'll be venturing into scientifically backed strategies, dappled with time-tested Caribbean remedies that have transformed howls into smiles and tearful faces into expressions of joy. Before we go full Sherlock Holmes on baby tantrums, let's understand what triggers these emotional eruptions As baffling as baby tantrums might seem, they're usually in so signal. Your baby might be tired, hungry, overstimulated or frustrated. It's like having a bad day at work and not being able to vent it out. Only in this case, the crying is your baby's version of venting. So think of yourself as a detective decoding cryptic messages from your baby, only without the cool trench coat and the hat. Now that we've given you a backstage pass to your baby's brain, let's shift gears and tackle these tantrums head on. First on the agenda is our mantra, keep calm and parent on. Easier said than done, we know. But remember, if you're as nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs, your baby is going to pick up on that faster than a seagull on a French fry. Your calm demeanour is the emotional compass for your little one. Next, we'll explore the art of redirection, or as we like to call it, the old bait and switch. It's like how you forget about your diet when you see a chocolate cake, only healthier. When a tantrum strikes, try to distract your baby with their favourite toy, a new activity or a funny face. It's like magic, but without the cape and wand. Now let's step into the ring with one of the heavyweights of tantrum management setting boundaries. Just because they're cute doesn't mean they get to pull the cat's tail. Setting boundaries doesn't mean turning into a stern disciplinarian. Instead, it's about showing them love by teaching them right from wrong. It's about creating a safe and nurturing environment where they can grow and thrive. Finally, Let's set sail and venture into the calm Caribbean seas where traditional remedies hold sway amidst the palm-fringed beaches. Ever tried a soothing lullaby to calm your upset baby? This timeless Caribbean remedy has worked wonders in transforming teary faces into sleepy ones. And the best part, these lullabies are as soothing for the parents as they are for the little ones. And voila, we've just travelled through the intricate maze of baby tantrums and positive discipline methods. Remember, with a dash of patience, a dollop of love and a spoonful of Caribbean wisdom, you can turn these trying times into valuable life lessons. So hit that subscribe button and let's journey together through the delightful chaos of parenting. Share your baby tantrum tales, survival strategies and questions in the comments below. Don't forget to share this video with other parents. Because as they say, misery loves company, but in our case, let's make that mastery loves company. After all, together we can transform the world one baby tantrum at a time.